Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a fun video. So it is winter, right? And it's starting to feel a little bit colder down here in South Texas, but I am from the North. I was born and raised in Northern Wisconsin, so I know all about winter and how to dress in the winter. I've been away from it for a while, but the other day it snowed here for the first time in what, like 30 years? And so I was like, yes, I can take out all of my winter accessories. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today is all of my favorite winter accessories. So welcome if you are new. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs it up. Please subscribe, follow me down below, follow me on, on my social media, Instagram specifically, cause that is where I post a lot of outfits, a lot of what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, what I'm doing kind of place, kind of things. What am I saying? So yeah, let's get into this. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying I live in South Texas now. So I don't know if I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of these things, but I can assure you I've owned these things for years and these are what I actually wear. So I'm looking around and I'm thinking there's a few things that are newer so you might be able to get the exact same thing and a few other things I'm just going to scour the internet and I'm going to put all the links down below to similar or very similar and some of them might act I haven't gone on the internet yet to look but I will link what I can below that is very similar in style. So I'm going to start off with the obvious scarves. Um, I think scarves are just a must. I don't, you know, when it's really, really cold, it's a necessity. But when it's mediocre cold, it's more like a fashion piece, honestly. Um, I used to chuckle at people like living down where I live now <laughs> and be like, they're wearing Uggs? It's like 45. Aren't their feet hot? You know what I mean? Um, but I get it. It's a fashion thing. And maybe some places you'll never wear a scarf or maybe you will. And, and I guess your body kind of acclimates to like your idea of cold is different than my idea of cold. But anyways, let's talk about scarves. So this is an infinity scarf and it happens to be very soft and thin. If you're layering, I would recommend a thinner scarf. If you're really legit going outside where it's cold, you need one that's actually going to be warm. You're probably going to want something. I, I, I've never liked wool because it's itchy, but wool is warm, but it's very itchy and scratchy. I don't mind a wool blend, but it can't be predominantly wool or it's just like, it's just too itchy. I can't deal with it. I prefer something that's like cotton or polyester or something that's breathable, but like going to keep you warm. So I, I recommend an infinity scarf. I like them because you don't have to like figure out how to tie it. It doesn't blow around and fall off and it's just it's fuss free and I'm all about that fuss free life so this is a red infinity scarf I just think red is classic I think a cream one is also beautiful this one is a thinner one where did I buy this I remember buying this a couple years ago online somewhere or maybe I got it at like Maurice's or something but I think an infinity scarf is just easy I'm and, and it's what when it's lighter like this, you can actually wear it with a sweater, maybe without a jacket kind of thing. It looks pretty on. Um, I think red and cream are just like classic colors. So my preference for a scarf is infinity. Now I do have this other one and it is from Mooncats, which I don't know if they're still in business anymore, but it's kind of like, you know, a Burberry print would be, which I'd love to have a Burberry one, but this will do. Um, I think a charcoal is also a really nice neutral to have. It has the cream and the red and the black running through it, so you can pair this with several different colored jackets. And I think it's nice. This one is really soft. So if this particular one is still available, I will link it. I do like it. It's very soft. Can't feel through the camera, but I assure you it's soft and cozy. And I did declutter my scarves, and I've only kept ones that are Chelsea approved, which means they have to be functional, they have to be good quality, and they need to be soft, Like, or I just won't wear it. Next, of course, is mittens. And now, if you're up north, you know, you need a mitten that's going to be warm. These are homemade, but I will look, because I I bet you Etsy has something like this. These were a gift to me, but these are the mittens that I have. They are fleece lined on the inside, and I like a mitten. I really do, because it's easy. Now, when I was younger, I'd always do those little finger gloves, but then your fingers are separated, and they get really cold. A mitten, they're together, and your hands stay warm. But these are what they look like. I just think a mitten and obviously it can be a fashion piece but it's also like a necessity you can drive in these still now they're not fancy but if you need a mitten to actually be warm um, this one has a wool blend uh, knit and then the inside is fleece next I'm gonna ruin my hair and talk a little bit about hats now none of these are for really cold days um, and I've seen some cute ones floating around but I don't wear hats a lot I really don't even when I was living in colder places I just kind of ruined your hair and unless you're <laughs> unless you're gonna be outside for a long length of time I would just brave it and run from my car into the store or whatever but I do have a couple cute ones um, this one I believe is from Target yes it is 
I guess I'll try these on. This one's kind of cute and fashionable because it's got the little brim and it's just a cotton, it's black. You can kind of wear it cocked like this. You could wear it like straight on, whatever suits your fancy. But I think a hat like this, it's not ugly. Like I'm not into the uh, whole pom-pom thing and I know that's, I've seen them on Nordstrom and other places and stuff, but I'm just not into the pom-pom thing. I feel like it's a little bit too childish for my particular taste. And my daughter, it's adorable. On me, not so much. I prefer something that's a little bit more like this. In fact, this makes me think of the movie, um, oh, uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, maybe, the, the girl in there or something. I don't know. I, I like the style. Now, along those lines, this one is also from Target. This one's a little bit um, not as warm. This is definitely more of like a fashion piece, which if I can find these, I'll, I will link them. If not, this is just a give you ideas kind of video. But this one's super cute because it has a little flower. It's more like a, let me sit back here, a baseball hat style. I could push my bangs back if I wanted to, but this one's kind of cute too. Um, this one you can pull down over your ears too if you needed to. So it covers them from the wind. Definitely a necessity when wearing a hat is to have one cover your ears. Otherwise, like, yeah. So this one's kind of cute. But one of my favorite ones to wear, especially if I was going to be doing like an outdoor, like in Jersey is where I actually bought this. There's a lot of outdoor shopping malls. And in the wintertime, that could be brutal. Um, so having something on your head is a necessity. But I didn't always want like a full-on hat. So something like this. This has a uh, knit flower. And it has a cute little rhinestone. And I've seen these in a million different colors. And what it is, is it's a wrap. So it doesn't cover the top of your head. But like you can wear it like this and then button it. And it's just so cute. Now you could wear your hair up in a messy bun. You could do like just soft curls or whatever. But um, something like this, I, I really, really like. Now I'm actually talking about winter accessories, not just like fall accessories or like cute little things you can add to your outfit. These are cute, but warm, serve a purpose, and are still a necessity item. Like these will fill in what, like they'll still a purpose, you know what I mean? Like I like accessories that are fun, but Sometimes it's just obnoxious to have like a million accessories and it's not actually serving a purpose. It's actually hindering what you want to do. I'm going to talk to you about boots. I own one pair of boots. One pair of winter boots, but they're also a little bit more fashionable. They are not an UGG because I, back in the... I, like UGG, I'd never really heard of UGG. And honestly, if you're looking for a warm boot, that's not what you're gonna go for. Um, but anyway, so I love these. These are by Bear Paw. And Bear Paw, often, they have today's special values on QVC. But these ones are a little bit taller. I would like to get these in a shorter boot style to wear just a little bit more casually. These I bought in a taller boot style because when it does snow, uh, the taller boot is so much better because if it, if it snows <laughs> and, the, and the boot's too short, then the snow, when you're like stepping in a snowbank, clearing off your car, rumming up your vehicle, that kind of thing, shoveling snow, it gets in and then it's no good. So I liked the taller boot style. This goes to about my mid shin. I love that it has the little details right here. Let's see, I believe I bought these, let me check the sizing, because seven, I did size down in these. I thought they ran big. I'm typically an eight, seven, half, eight. Why am I getting congested all of a sudden? Ugh. But anyways, I've had these probably for, oh geez, probably at least eight years or so. And I mean, I haven't worn them a lot recently, but they've held up really, really well. So I love these by Bear Paw. I just, and the, the inside of them is, is like fluffy. Looks like so. Can you see that? I think you can, maybe. The outside is suede, I want to say. Suede. So they're very well made. They actually keep your feet warm. The sole doesn't, maybe it has a little bit of arch support, nothing crazy, but I don't know. They serve a purpose. They're comfortable. They're easy to slip on and off, and they're just my favorite. Now we have some fun stuff. So it's not quite cold enough for a thick jacket, right? So we're talking about layering pieces now. Things you can go outside when it's cooler out, but you can layer in things you can take on and off really easily. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is a cardigan type shawl thingy. Um, and it's by Layers by Lisden. You can get these on QVC. This particular one was a Today's Special Value a few years ago, but I know that they still make these, and so I will link whatever they have below on QVC. But so soft. Great layering piece. Like maybe you're wearing something a little bit dressier and you just want more of like a shawl and not a thick, heavy sweater. 
That's why you need like different types of things to pull over because depending on what else you're wearing, if you like for instance, when, when I was younger, we'd be going to church, right? And I'd have on my tights and my dress and then I'd put on an ugly, puffy jacket and it didn't really match the style of, of the outfit for the day. So stuff like this you can layer in and it kind of can go from casual to super dressy. Like I would absolutely, like if I were to wear a black like gown or whatever, um, or just like a black dress, I would buy one of these type shawl things in black and then it would just go with everything from really dressy to really casual. But So the Layers by Lisden, it is a one size situation. Most of them are and this is, it's a 100% acrylic. It's very soft. I think this one runs a little bit more of like a casual style because of the fringe, but if you're not into fringe, don't get a fringe one. Um, I just think something that's a little bit more like a shawl type thing it's just comfortable, it's cozy, and it's very universally flattering on everybody and all outfits. I've talked about Barefoot Dreams a lot, but my first introduction to Barefoot Dreams was this summer during the Nordstrom anniversary sale when I picked up this bad boy, and had I known, I would have picked up more than one. So next year when the sale, mark my words, when the sale starts next summer, I'm picking up another one of these in a lighter color because I love this. I wear this every single morning, bringing my kids to school. I like to not get out of my jammies, and so I wear my jammies and just throw this over, and no one knows because I don't have to get out of my car, but it's comfortable, it's lightweight, but warm, very warm. This one is a blend of 75% nylon, 25% rayon. This is the Cozy Chic Light Knit, and this is the uh, one with the hood and the black. It, I have it in black, and it also has pockets. I love this. Definitely recommend some sort of cardigan. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about something that... Oh my gosh, I love. Okay, so <laughs> last year I picked up this one, and it is a faux fur vest. So cozy. You want to talk about chic and elegant and just winter? Like when I when I see this, I think about like a winter dinner party. I think about wearing this over a dress or over a sweater or over whatever, a t-shirt, a long sleeve thermal, whatever. I mean, let me just, actually, you know what? I'm gonna insert footage of me wearing it, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. Cause I mean, I just have on a black sweater, throw on one of these with a scarf and some gloves and you are ready to go outside. This one has pockets. This one is by BCB. G. Yeah, I got this at Dillard's and I know Dillard's usually has a pretty good assortment of these and so I wanted one that wasn't um, I didn't want a dark colored one. I wanted one that had like the variegated so I could wear it with creams and grays and whites and browns and like everything. So my next one that I'm gonna want is I'm gonna probably get one in a darker color, but this is BCBG or BCB generation and I did buy an extra small in this, so it must have ran a little bit big. I'm typically a women's small. This is what it looks like, but oh, just fun. Now this one, I don't know. I hope we can find this somewhere online. We'll scour. But Rachel Zoe used to have a line at QVC, and I bought an extra, extra small. Oh my gosh, when Lisa, remember Lisa Robertson on QVC? She sold me this hard. Like, I wanted all the colors. But I'm so glad I went for the winter white. I love a winter white. I just think it is just elegant. Absolutely elegant. So this particular one has a collar you can pop. Pop a collar. Um, and then it has, like, little eye hook and eyes to closures. And then it has some really nice... Um, what do you call it? Like the details on how it is made. You see how that it almost looks like there's a stripe sewn in. It has pockets. It is just so yummy and cute. I mean, I'm much more into a faux fur like this than a puffer vest. I used to wear puffer vests. And if I lived up north again, I'd probably, I have a good Eddie Bauer one. But fashion wise, I'd rather do this. But out of necessity for warmth, I would wear that other one. And I do like it, but I just think that this looks so much more chic. Lastly, we are going to talk a little bit about jackets. Now, I'm not going to delve deep into jackets because there are a million jackets out there, right? And a lot of different styles. But I'm going to share, there's a theme here between all three of these. And I think they are more of a, a dressier option than just throwing on an actual puffer vest. I don't even own a puffy jacket actually I just even when I was living at home 
like years ago, I never really liked wearing big puffy jackets. I just, they were hard to work with. <laughs> Seat belts and all that stuff and layering, it was just so much going on. So I'm gonna share with you some cuter options. If I could recommend any sort of like winter accessory, get yourself a fun jacket. And I'm, ta I'm talking like a cute fit, maybe a fun color. This is my favorite. I bought this years ago at JCPenney and Worthington still makes coats, so maybe we can still find it. But it's a pea coat, but it's a shorter pea coat. So you know sometimes you're wearing like jeans and some cute boots and you don't want to have a big old jacket on. Like it's still, it's kind of warm, but you know this felt stuff isn't that warm unless you're going to wear, I'd wear like a chunky sweater under it with maybe an infinity scarf and some gloves and then you'll be warmer. But down here, I mean 40 degrees, this is perfect. So um, this is a petite small. Most More often than not, I have to buy petite jackets because jackets just kind of hang on me weird. Um, but this green one is stunning, huge, cute buckles. Like the buckle details for me in a jacket, it's all about the details. I mean, jackets are a dime a dozen, but it's the details that, that make me want to buy the jacket. G. Lee. G. Lee is a line on QVC. And I love that line. Honestly, I love that line. This jacket, I'm going to have to insert footage of me wearing it because you're not going to be able to see anything. But basically the color, it's a beautiful burgundy shade, which is also a wonderful fall-winter color. This is a really chic, very chic, classic jacket. Looks great with a dress. Looks great with just jeans and some boots. But I love the styling on this. Like you can really make it look just so chic. Like seriously, I'm using that word a lot, but when I think of like a tour or just like magazine pictures, I think of the style of this jacket and how you can really just make it look so cool. Lastly, it's my favorite. It's, I think having a longer dressier coat is gonna last you for years. I've had this coat for years and I, every time I dig it out, it's in the winter time when I'm going to church. It's almost like my church jacket or like my date night jacket and it's a winter white longer pea coat. If you can find yourself a pea coat, maybe in, actually have had my eye on a Christmas red one for years. Someday I'm going to buy it. Um, it's like this color and it's like a longer pea coat and it's, it's got so many cute like bells and whistles. It's got buckles and it's got pockets and it's got like little, the hardware on it is awesome. And so for me, I just don't need that. But I think a winter white coat is stunning. It looks great with your infinity scarves, it looks dressy, you can button it, you can leave it unbuttoned, it looks so chic. I mean, I've seen people post pictures on Instagram wearing a wool coat and like stiletto heels and like ripped jeans and I'm like, you look so cool. I don't know if they're cold or if they're sweating, depending on where they're at. But this is functional, it's fashionable, it's gonna take you from day to night, from the office to dinner out, and I love it. That is it. These are all functional winter accessories. I hope you weren't looking for like super flashy things. I wanted to share with you things I truly wear. Um, things that I would definitely recommend that when it's actually cold out, these are the things that I wear. Not just like it looks cute kind of thing because it is no good. If you're cold, it is no good. <laughs> like you're just miserable. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I look forward to chatting with you very soon. Bye guys.